Welcome to the Friends with Money podcast, brought to you by Money Magazine, creating financial freedom for Australians since 1999. G'day, everyone, and welcome to another episode of the Friends with Money podcast. I'm your host, Tom Watson, a senior writer here at Money Magazine, and it's great to be with you. Today, I'm joined by Jerry Kremen, a credit reporting expert and spokesperson at consumer education website creditsmart.org.au. So, Jerry, it's lovely to have you on the pod. Thanks, Tom. I'm always looking forward to chatting with the Tom. We're the Tom and Jerry show today. I didn't even think about that beforehand, but um, that's excellent. That that should be the title. So one of the reasons we wanted to talk about credit scores today is because I get the sense that there are a lot of preconceived notions around them that aren't always accurate, mm-hmm. namely that popular culture has given us a very US-centric view of them. I know I've fallen into that trap in the uh, in the past. And given the number of Australians who rely on credit in one form or another throughout their lives, it's probably worth clearing things up a bit. So, Jerry, let's start with the basics. What exactly is a credit score and what does a good credit score look like? So your credit score is a number that's based on all the information in your credit report. So straight out the gate, I would say absolutely agree with you. There's a lot of um, misconceptions around credit scores. And the first one is that they are the be all and end all because actually your credit score is just a number, but your credit report is where the bulk of the information is. So your credit report is a detailed track record that shows how you handle credit and gives the best read on your credit health. So that's where we should actually be focusing on the credit report where you have all that detailed information around your credit accounts and your repayment history. Um, Your credit report is really the heart of your credit health. The credit score then distills all of that information into one number and it does give you a handy indicator of what your credit health is looking like, um, but it's more like a blood pressure. So it might go up, it might go down for a variety of factors and it might give you a really useful snapshot of your overall health, but it's not the full picture at all. So it's really important to understand your credit health by looking beyond the score into your actual credit report. Well, that's myth number one busted then straight <laughs> away. So thank you. Where where does the term credit history come in to play here then? Is, is that just another kind of general term or is it a specific part of this as well? Yeah, I mean, you mentioned um, pop culture. I wouldn't say it's just pop culture. I'd say also the credit reporting system in Australia did used to be um, very different to how it was in the rest of the world. And a lot of us grew up with parents Mm. who came from other countries and who, you know, understood the credit report in that other country and kind of brought that into our kind of financial discussions around the dinner table. So things like you need credit to get credit, that's something that absolutely wasn't true uh, when I was growing up. It's something that I was told. Mm. And I'd say from that, there's also these different kind of terms that come in from, you know, just common vernacular around the world. Credit history, it's really just talking about what's in your credit report because your credit report is that kind of um, story of or your history. It's it's what you've been um how you've been interacting with credit over the last few years. So I'd say that's what most people are referring to when they talk about credit history. Mm. That The Australian credit reporting system has actually recently changed. Um, It changed significantly just a few years ago. So now we have lenders reporting comprehensive credit reporting about their customers' credit accounts and their payment habits. And that's all kind of captured in a credit report now. But previously, as in just a few years ago, your credit report was actually mainly negative information about payment defaults. So it would only contain information like uh, default information, which is if you're more than 60 days past due on a repayment or, you know, really big things like bankruptcies. So now your credit report also has positive data and that includes, mm. uh, you know, what type of credit account do you have? How much is that credit for? And really importantly, a monthly update on whether you've made your repayments on time or not. And that monthly update in particular really gives the customers and consumers more control over their credit reputation because every month you have an an opportunity to kind of demonstrate that you're responsible with credit, you're a good customer and build up that credit reputation. That opportunity wasn't there before, um, before a few years ago. So that's a big kind of shift and it's one that 
oddly enough, actually brings us closer to how things are in the US. So maybe we're starting to kind of bridge that gap in understanding. But I would say oh, really? most people's yeah. um, understandings of the credit reporting system is um, is not quite there yet. And even after those changes as well, we've seen from our Credit Smart research that um, only around a quarter of Australians actually know that that monthly update on their repayment history information is included in their credit report. Uh, but it is there and it, it sticks around for 24 months and you know starts to build up a really clear picture around how you interact with credit. Beautiful. I feel like we've drawn a line under the sand there. Credit <laughs> report. That's the big one that I'm going to be looking That's at from now one. on or at least yep. keeping it in my head. So why do credit scores actually matter then in a practical sense? So if I go out and I apply for a new credit card or a, a, a home loan, is my you know, theoretically excellent score going to help me nab a, a better rate? It might be good to talk about what uh, a credit score actually is because the other big myth we need to bust to even answer that question is um, that you've only got one score. You don't. So there's, oh. yeah. So credit scores can be generated from a credit reporting body. So there are three main credit reporting bodies in Australia and they all hold information on your credit report and they also generate scores. Those credit reporting bodies are also affiliated with some of the credit score sites where you might go to get your credit score. Um, you know, you'll see ads popping up saying, you know, a free monthly credit score check. Separate mm. to that, your lender might actually generate their own score. And that's going to be specific to that lender and what kind of algorithm they um, have in place and what factors they take into account. So your credit score. Um, is not just one single number. The common thread though, looking at all of those different types of credit score, is that it's based largely on your credit report. So again, we kind of come back to this point that the credit report is the key factor um, in looking at what your credit health is. So that's a lot. That's actually quite confusing in a sense. So <laughs> different companies create different scores is, is that is or, or based off your report. Is, is is that correct? Yeah, that's right. And across the three main credit reporting bureaus that we have in Australia, which are uh, Experian, Illion and Equifax, each of them uses a different calculation to generate a score and they even have a different range as well. So some of them will give you a score that's somewhere between zero and a thousand. Um, another might give you a score that's somewhere between zero and 1,200. So you've got to look at where you're getting your score from and that should have some context to what the range is and what they consider to be you know, a good credit score or an excellent credit score. But again, when when it comes to understanding what that means or why your score is what it is, you've got to have a look at your credit report to figure out what factors are going into that number. Okay. So if I do choose to go to one of these websites or to, you know, an affiliate of some kind to check my report, what will I see on that? Um, and, you know, what should I be looking at for to, you know, determine what is affecting um, that score and that report that's going to these banks? So your credit report will hold information around the type of credit that you have and the type of credit that you've applied for as well. Um, information like, you know, is it a credit card, car loan, mortgage, personal loan, how much that loan is for. And also the really crucial part there is how you've been handling your repayments. So there'll be a two-year mm. track record of whether you've made your repayments on time or not. So that repayment history information is really important and is going to um, have uh, a good influence on what your credit score is and your credit health more generally. So how would I kind of maintain a good or excellent credit score then to ensure that I'm, you know, able to apply for the products that I want to apply? Is, is it as simple as making sure that I'm making my credit card repayments on time, my home loan repayments on time? Is, is that it? Or are there, are there other factors that can work into that? Most people really need to start from the basics. So your credit report 
is a really important personal asset that so many Australians don't understand it. Credit Smart does annual um, research, the credit checkup, and our latest research found that over half of Australians have never actually checked their credit report. So I would say the very first step is to actually understand your credit report and understand what's in it. The first time you look at your credit report in particular, you need to be looking for any errors. You also Mm. need to be looking at what credit accounts are in there. You'd be surprised at how many people have a credit card in the kitchen drawer that they've forgotten about. Um, and that kind of all plays into your credit health and your credit report, which is then going to you know, feed into the score that we've been talking about. So you've got to um, have a look for errors. Also have a look for things that you, you know, might have forgotten. When it comes to how you can improve your credit report or improve your credit score, The number one thing is to make your repayments on time every month. And if you're struggling with repayments, reach out to your lender in the first instance and try and, you know, figure out a way that you can get back on track. Another um, key thing, and it's around that uh, forgotten credit card in the kitchen drawer, is to check what credit you have and ask whether you really need it. Um, because the, the total amount of credit that you have will then kind of play into how a lender is um, looking at your credit health if they're assessing you for a new type of credit as well. And when it comes to checking my score or my report, is is this free? Is this something that I can you know do without having to pay, or will I need to you know pay a company to to do that? Absolutely. It's free to check your credit report. So we've got three main credit reporting bureaus in Australia. That's Experian, Illion and Equifax. And it's good to get a copy of your credit report from each of those businesses. The reason you want to look at all three is that some credit providers might only use one or two of the businesses. So there might be information on Mm. one of those reports that's not actually with the other two bureaus. So you want to have a look at all three of your credit reports from the different bureaus. You have an entitlement to access that credit report every three months. Um, And what's really surprising is that our most recent round of Credit Smart research showed that only 52% of Australians have ever checked their credit report. And recently, we've actually had new consumer rights that have empowered consumers to access their credit report, not just once a year, but every three months. And we haven't seen that 52% change, which is a bit disappointing. Um, So absolutely, you can do it for free. And it's a really good thing to do. On our website, creditsmart.org.au, we've got information about um, you know, what's in your credit report, what does it mean, and how you can check your credit report for free. So I'd recommend going there for the um, kind of step-by-step instructions. But the big takeaway is, yes, absolutely, you can check your credit report for free and you absolutely should. Final question for me then, and this might be another myth buster. Mm-hmm. When I check my credit report, will that actually affect my score at all? No, it won't. So this, um, I can see where where this myth might have come from, I guess. So when you make an application for credit, there will be an inquiry listed on your credit report. And that's another thing that does then kind of play into, you know, what you look like to a lender. If you're making lots and lots of applications, then that's going to raise questions about, you know, why why you've made a series of applications in a short period of time, particularly if it's, um, you know, depending on the different type of credit there as well. So that will go onto your credit report. Whereas if you access your credit report yourself, that's not put anywhere on your credit report. Um, so it won't impact your score and it won't be visible to lenders or um, anyone else. Well, this has been a great clarifier and a, uh, a bit of a myth buster as well. So thank you so much for joining us, Jerry. It's been a, uh, a pleasure chatting. No problem. Thank you. That's it for this episode of the Friends With Money podcast. I'm Tom Watson. Bye for now. Thanks for listening to the Friends With Money podcast. For credible, independent and easy to understand financial commentary, visit moneymag.com.au. Please remember that the views and opinions expressed in this podcast are general in nature and further independent advice and research based on your personal circumstances should be sought before making an investment decision.